want you to imagine the ace represents one, so we've got a one, uh, a two, a three, and a four. Now we're going to place the one and the two in between the three and the four, okay, which is a jumbled up mess, until I say the magic words, of course, one, two, three, four, and of course now we find the cards back in order with uh, one, uh, two, three, and four. Let's do this a little bit differently. I'll take the two and the three and place those at the face so we have a completely different order, until of course I say the magic words, one, uh, two, three, and four, and once more the cards are back in order. That's a one, two, three, four. I can make this a little bit more complex by placing the one over here between the two and the three, and of course the four in between the three and the one. Now none of the cards are in the initial positions. Look, that will be one, uh, two, three, and four. Whichever way you look at it, none of these cards are in numerical order. Every single card has moved until, of course, we say the magic words one, uh, two, three, four. And now the cards once more are back in order. Numerical order, that's one, two, three, four. What does all this mean? Well, absolutely nothing, except that this is a stunning triumph of style over substance, and you probably wish the government could manipulate numbers in the same way as me.